Um, so I've been a fan of James Baldwin uh, since undergrad, and when I read Up Those Street Could Talk, I was just moved by the blend of his two voices, both his very sensual depiction uh, of romance and, uh, and love between two people, but also a very honest critique of American society. Uh, you know, when I first wrote the script, I actually wrote it without having the rights to the source material, and I contacted the James Baldwin estate, and I realized very quickly that, you know, uh, making this film wasn't going to be about, like, beating, like, the boss in Super Mario Brothers. I was going to have to, over the course of time, get to know the Baldwin estate, and in turn, allow them to get to know me. And so that was uh, really the process. You know, once they understood what I wanted to do, and I'd already adapted the book, so there was no, nothing I had to hide, um, then we kind of became partners in a certain way. I feel like I, in a very loose way, became a part of the family. Uh, Tish and Fani are the, the center of the universe of If Bill Street Could Talk, and finding them was a, a very wide search. I was looking for two young actors who uh, could project the energy of being soulmates. I thought that was very present in the book, and it had to be very present uh, in the film. And Kiki Lane and Stefan James are somewhat very new actors, especially Kiki. Kiki is brand new. Um, and I feel like there's something fresh and vital about the energy they bring to the performance that really works and really, uh, really communicates to the audience this idea that this love is the most important love in the universe. Uh, James Baldwin was such a, such a wise, uh, truthful person. He was so prescient that I think many of the things that he was speaking towards were very uh, real and true in the time that he wrote them. They were very accurate depictions of the world he lived in. And I think what happens is so many of these things have not changed since he wrote uh, this material that um, 25, 45, 50 years later, um, I think it's quite sad that so much of what he was writing about, these problems have been allowed to persist. And I think it's why it's time to bring much of this material back into the vanguard. It's why If Pushri Could Talk is still relevant. Um, I really hope that audiences take from Beale Street, um, I really hope that when audiences watch If Beale Street Could Talk, they walk away with this feeling of love and hope and optimism. Um, I really hope that they walk away from the film feeling like watching these characters navigate this journey, um, that love and family and community, um, it's this thing that can help us weather these storms, you know. I think right now society, societies, I should say, all across the world, we're all looking for something to hold on to, we're looking for a place um, of unity, something to unite us. And I think this idea of family and love and the power of family and love to help us weather these storms, that's what I hope anybody who watched this film takes away from it. アカデミー賞作品賞ムーンライトの監督が。<笑><笑><笑><笑> He's about to pay for something he didn't do. We've been looking for a long time. I don't seem to me like there's a reason to treat two Negroes so nicely. Pretty simple. I, I dig people who love each other. These are our children, and we gotta set them free. You ready for this? Don't panic. ビールストリートの恋人たち